Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to be testing out some different methods to smooth poly smooth filament with rubbing alcohol without the poly smooth polisher. Let's get into it. Now, for those of you who don't know, Polymaker PolySmooth is a filament designed by Polymaker to be a alternative to ABS plastic for the sole purpose of smoothing, not strength. ABS would probably still win. I'm not really sure. I haven't really tested that. But what we're going to be looking at today is the smoothing capabilities of PolySmooth. ABS can be really hard to print with, and Polymakers pride themselves on creating a filament that is really easy to print with, just like PLA, yet still has the benefits of being able to smooth it in a post-process post-printing process? Yeah, that. So basically, instead of using acetone as a solvent, we're going to be using rubbing alcohol or acetopropyl alcohol as our agent. Now, Polymaker does sell their own special machine just for smoothing their prints that they recommend using, but I want to see if we can do it using the same method we would with an ABS plastic except using rubbing alcohol instead of acetone. Now I purposely chose a fairly high layer height because I wanted to really see how far we could push this smoothing aspect. This particular print has really thick layers. I believe this is 0.24, so they're very, very noticeable, especially on these really shallow curves. So this will be a good test to show us how well uh, the poly smooth can be smoothed out and how much of those layer lines can we remove. All right, let's go ahead and head down to the workshop so we can go ahead and test out our setup. All right, now those of you who have seen my last video on ABS smoothing know that to do this process, you only really need about three things. The first is some type of container to put your print in. Now, before I went out of my way to say it needs to be a container that acetone is not a solvent of, but in this case, most things aren't really damaged by isopropyl alcohol, so you shouldn't really have to worry about that anymore. But I will say it is still nice if you can have a clear container, that way you can look at your model as it smooths and make sure it's not you know, being destroyed. Second, you're going to need some paper towels. The thicker, the better. We're gonna soak these in the isopropyl alcohol and put them inside the container. And then of course you also need isopropyl alcohol. I just noticed that my bottle says 50% isopropyl alcohol. I imagine 100% isopropyl alcohol would be what you would want since it's the solvent. I'm gonna try this anyway. We'll, we'll see if that affects it or not. I'm actually kind of interested. This, we might need a higher percentage of isopropyl alcohol. All right, so first off, go ahead and open up your container and start laying in the paper towels. Now the key thing here is to have paper towels covering most of the walls, but I do like to keep one side open so that I can look through that side and see my print. You're also going to need tin foil or some type of separator to set your print on inside the vapor bath. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and pour in our isopropyl alcohol. And the key thing is here, once you start pouring, you wanna work pretty quickly because you don't want the liquid to evaporate away before you've closed the lid and put your print in. Now that we've got it all wet, we're gonna go ahead and set in our tin foil and go ahead and set your print inside. Once that's done, go ahead and put on the lid, making sure not to jostle it too much because we don't want to that, that we don't want that print bumping into the walls and getting any actual liquid on it. We just want the vapors to be in the air surrounding it. Now, after leaving the part in the bath for quite a while, it did not seem to get the smoothest level that I wanted, so I decided to leave it in there overnight. And while it did become slightly tacky and shiny, it did not remove hardly any layers. So what I did is I went ahead and picked up some higher concentrate isopropyl alcohol. This is 91% as opposed to the 50% I was using. And I'm gonna go ahead and just replace the paper towels with some of this, and we're gonna try it again and see if that makes any difference. After a few hours, I was not getting the desired smoothing level I wanted to on my part, so I decided to go ahead and leave it in there overnight because it was getting sticky and glossy, just not quite smoothing. This morning when I opened it up, it had substantially smoothed over and gotten a really nice smooth finish. This is about what you would expect from a two to three hour in an acetone vapor bath with ABS. So obviously the isopropyl alcohol works much slower than acetone does 
but that can still be worked around. The problem is when it was left in there overnight, it became very, very soft. The plastic, I believe, because it was exposed to the vapor for such a long amount of time, instead of just the surface being um, attacked by the solvent, I think the entire part was um, just because it really had time to soak in. So it is much softer now. I can even leave dents in the surface with my fingernail and it does have a much more rubbery feel, but it will eventually dry and go back to its normal hardness. Just keep that in mind when you first get the part out of the vapor bath, be careful with it because it will dent very easily. I've gone ahead and printed out another model. This is a tr Tremander a model to go ahead and see what smooth level we can get on this. And for this model, I'm going to go ahead and try a different container because I think this container is not sealing up all the way because when I checked it after a couple hours, the paper towels had dried out. So instead of using this container, I'm going to use this container. This is a glass jar with a really nice and tight sealable lid. So I think that will keep the uh, solvent from evaporating uh, much better. I also printed this model at 0.16 millimeter layer height instead of 0.24, so it already has a smoother finish, so hopefully the final product will be even better than our first test model. I ended up leaving this print in the vapor bath for about 12 hours and it actually turned out very nice. This is the exact circumstance in which you would be using the smoothing properties of PolySmooth. This is a perfect example because in this model, it looks so much better once it's smooth and once you get rid of those layers. Now, you do lose detail just like with any other normal uh, smoothing with ABS plastic. You still do lose that detail, so the edges aren't as well defined, but I, overall, it looks a lot better. I will say with my particular setup, I find the top of models to not be very smooth. It seems like a lot of the vapor um, condenses around the edges of the models instead of uh, all around so keep that in mind the very tops of your prints probably won't be as smooth as the sides but overall I think it is really it seems to be quite a good process but there are definitely some downsides the first of which obviously being that it takes much longer than acetone smoothing with ABS plastic I had to leave this in for about 12 hours to get this finish and even six hours wasn't nearly as smooth as I wanted to. So I think this is more of an all night or all day process. Whereas ABS, you could get this level smoothing in just about two hours with, and again, this is with my particular setup. I do think it is going to change depending on your particular setup, but it will definitely be longer than whatever you're currently doing with ABS and acetone. But you definitely do need to use 91% isopropyl alcohol. That was much, much better than the like 50% I was using. So make sure you get the highest uh, percentage you can. There doesn't appear to be any noticeable color differentiation or color shifting after smoothing that I can tell. If I had to say it might just be slightly slightly more blue than the original print and the original print has a bit more of a green cast but it's so subtle and i actually do prefer the look after smooth but that just might be the lighting in here but of course the plastic very well may fade over time just as abs plastic does but i doubt the smoothing process would affect that discoloration for the worse or the better another downside to this process is that coming because it's in there for such a long amount of time 12 hours i really do think it gives the vapors more time to get farther into the print than you want meaning instead of just affecting the outermost layers i think they are affecting a bit deeper down and this causes it to be very gooey when it comes out uh not just like a little damp but like gooey when it comes out of the very bath so you need to be very careful you can easily bend uh very thin sections of the print super easily if you're not careful so make sure to touch it as little as possible and let it dry for an entire day um i did not find it to get entirely dry and for about two days but on the third day it did get completely dry and while it is much harder after being able to dry for a week it still isn't as hard as a original print so for strength parts smoothing probably wouldn't give you any advantage in fact it would be a definite disadvantage to smooth your parts if you want them to hold up over strength over time at least the finish now the inner parts of the plastic it still feels just as strong as far as that goes it's just the outermost layer I found this system to work uh, much better than my previous container, so if you can get one that's sealed, I think that'll work a lot better. I think the vapors were definitely evaporating, and I can still see there are still some isopropyl alcohol in here over a week after doing that initial smoothing with this thing, so that is definitely an improvement. All right, guys, that will about do it for this review. I didn't really talk much about the actual printing process for this filament because you print it 
basically just like you do PLA, a little bit more on the hot side probably, um, but other than that, it prints very nice. On another note, at the time of filming this video, I just passed 300 subscribers, so thank you guys very much for that. I don't really have any plans for this channel whatsoever, but we'll just do it until, I don't know, I die or something. No, but seriously, let me get... Let me guys. No, but seriously, let me know guys if you have any ideas for video projects. I'm always looking for new ideas. I don't really have any on the moment, um, but go ahead and drop one of those down in the comments because I do read them because there's only like three or four usually, so it doesn't take that much time. I would also be really interested to find out your experiences with Polysmooth. If you've used it before, please let me know whether you like it. If you find out any other disadvantages other than the ones I've mentioned here. All right, I think that will about do it for today's video. I'm Josiah, thanks for watching. This video took a while to make, but um, it's only because I didn't work on it for like a straight week. So that's probably why it took so long. It's probably about two hours of work stretched out over two weeks. So, oh well.